Okay, uh, here we are at the ham shack. And as we come over here, we see that uh, I have my fold over tower. This is a revision C, as in Charlie, uh, folded it down because uh, I've got to take the rotor out uh, and exchange it. So, uh, on this uh, tower is a little tri band, a tri band 10, 15, and 20 meter Yagi. Uh, and as you come over and you look, you'll see the, the mast comes uh, through um, the thrust bearing. Okay, and then uh, I have a, a homemade swivel plate uh, let me, that uh, I'm going to make a video on this swivel plate and uh, let's see if I can, I can't do it with my, by hand here, standing here. So uh, I'm going to make a, uh, a video on this swivel plate, but not today. Uh, it's, the sun's going down and I want to get this rotor out. So what I did, let's see, what I did, okay, let me come up this ladder. Okay, uh, back this video out. Okay, here's the rotor mounted on a rotor plate going down through the thrust bearing, out the top of the tower with the Yagi and it's on its fold over plate so it's <laughs> it's parallel to the ground rather than having the elements stabbing the end of the elements stabbing the ground. Now here's the problem when when I undo this clamp let me see if I come up one more step when I woo <laughs> when I undo this uh, clamp boy I wish I could get further away here all I can do is get closer. When I do undo this clamp on this towel, on this rotor, there's, no, there's nothing going to keep this, undo this clamp, there's nothing going to keep this pipe from, from, uh, from going up. See, uh, so I had to make a little jig. Let me get the little jig. Okay, so here's the little jig. It's a piece of angle iron and a flat bar. And the way it works is you just take it and slide it in here, right up to the, like that, right up to the mast. You slide it up here. And then you put a U clamp here. Uh, let's see the other side, let me go. Go up another step. Okay. okay. Put a U clamp on this side. Let me stop that from getting in the way. Put a U clamp on that side. A U clamp on that side. And right here, we're going to put a muffler clamp around the pipe and through here. And that will keep this pipe from moving when I undo this here. So I'm going to put the clamps on it and I'll show it to you. Okay, <clears throat> there's one of the clamps. And you see, I, I've got it coming up through the bottom here around this uh, tower. And, and the two nuts are on this side of the angle iron. And the angle iron is with the one of the angles coming up. So that way if I drop a nut or something, it won't go anywhere. It'll just sit here and I won't have to climb back down the ladder. <laughs> also... Uh, the angle iron, uh, this, having this piece, of, this uh, side of the angle iron coming up gives it strength. Uh, it won't bend with the weight of the uh, pole pulling on it. And there's the uh, muffler clamp going around uh, the main pipe, in which comes out of the rotor, goes up, goes through the thrust bearing. That's the back side of the plate, through the thrust bearing and out up into the sky. Well, right now it's pointing toward the ground, but that's... Okay, so then I, uh, this 
this uh, muffle clamp holds that here and uh, this is the other side and again this um, th these just have to be finger tight so now I can come over here and undo this clamp take this plate off just take it right off and uh, then I can come around the back and just undo these four bolts and take the rotor out I'm going to do that now uh, one other thing that uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a board uh, let me try to get up here a little better stick a board be underneath the throat uh, the neck of the uh, rotor just to uh, so you can see it just to take the the uh, pressure off of this uh, rotor when I undo these bolts in the back uh, I can't do both show hold the camera and do this at the same time so I'll be right back uh, I've taken the uh, ratchet and I've loosened these nuts up here and I'm just going to take these off and you see this the plate is loose see what happens when you get old you stop bleeding and you don't even know it I'm sure my 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 friend Bill, old goat 64, is gonna be wanting some Dramamine from all this uh, all this camera shaking, high high. But uh, I, I'm just really I come up with an idea and I just want to share it with my my friends. And uh, see, the plate comes right off and. Uh, the uh, mast is still sitting there and you have to remember to tighten these two nuts up on this on this uh, on this uh, muffler clamp to keep this pipe from rotating because you have all that weight of your antennas on that mast and uh, if, if, they, uh, if the balance of them can cause that whole thing to rotate so uh, you got to remember that's that was the whole idea of putting this um, bar across here and then this vertical one here with the uh, hose with the muffle clamp so it just grab hold of this pipe and when I take this clamp out it won't lift up or slide out or anything else of course it won't slide out because there, there are bolts that hold it in the uh, thrust baron on the other side but uh, if if this was if this pipe just because of the weight of the antennas out there if this pipe came up it would bend the crap out of the thrust baron plate and the thrust baron so we can't have that so we have to make some kind of an attachment uh, some kind of a jig here to hold this pipe in place and that's what I just did now this is another view um, I'm coming out of the the pole barn walking back over towards the tower and uh, I've, uh, I've made a change I got rid of the manual winch and uh, I put a uh, an electric winch on here and uh, uh, we're experimenting with that and right now I'm using a, uh, a battery charger to run the winch and uh, eventually I'll have 12 volts coming out from the ham shack there'll be an underground trench with pipes going from the ham shack to this tower and that'll uh, we'll have 12 volts coming out here to run the winch uh, I have a safety rope tying this on because um, I've loosened up the winch because the cable was binding I had too much cable on that winch so I got to take some of it off all right well enough of that that's getting sidetracked there's the uh, the new hinge assembly I'm gonna make a video on all of this and uh, but uh, uh, all right so let me get up there and take that rotor out uh, okay
Okay, I'm taking out the uh, the last two bolts. So now all the bolts that hold the bottom of the rotor on the rotor plate are out. The clamp is taken apart. Here's the other piece of it right here. And uh, the mast is still sitting there and the antennas are still sitting there and nothing's happened. Now I'm going to take the rotor out. I'm going to remove this board and uh, just take the rotor out. Okay, there's the rotor. It just uh, just came out of this space, and uh, all I did was reach up here and hold the bottom of it, and wiggle it a little bit, and, and just take it right out and set it down. I, I was afraid to try to hold the camera and hold the road. The road is like 30 pounds, and I'm on a six-foot step ladder. I'm almost 73 years old and not stable enough to even be here. But uh, anyways, there's the there's the pipe. Uh, jig there holding it in place and uh, the rotor's out see that so now i can go repair the rotor replace the rotor i can just put the tower back up in the air and the thing will just uh, stay locked in that position uh whatever you want i just wanted to make this little video to stick it in here i, I got tons and tons of footage of making this tower and uh making the hinge and uh, all of that in which I'm trying to get together to uh, make a video uh, I'm working on it I'm working on editing it when I can but I wanted to get this out all right 73s see you later